After suffering his first loss in his first career start, Phillip Brooks and the Florida Gators moved on to the number two ranked Auburn Tigers in Auburn. Here third and five, Brooks hits his tight end, gets a first down converting. Setting up second and inches, Brooks rolls out of the pocket to his right, throws it nicely over the defenders for a first down into Auburn territory. Doing well on his first drive, they would score a touchdown. And then Brooks hits Jeff Demps out of the backfield, and he's going to take it up for a big gain. Pass midfield into Auburn territory. Third and four, trying to convert, extend this drive. Brooks rolls to his right, stumbles back, and he's just going to throw it away. But the kicker would miss the field goal attempt. Now Auburn up by 10. Brooks trying to get something going in the third quarter. He hits his wide receiver there on the curl route for a first down. But another third and five trying to convert on third down. He looks over the middle, finds his receiver on the post, and he's going to burn the safeties. That's a touchdown for Florida. Back in this game now down by three. Now 21-24 in the fourth quarter. Brooks play action. He's sacked on the play, bringing up a third and long situation. Third and 11 now. Brooks trying to get them into closer field goal range, but he's sacked past the Ford. You can't take a sack that deep when you need three points. So down by 10, Brooks trying to get something going again. Third and 14, and it's just knocked away there. So that's do or die now for the Gators. Brooks, fourth and 14. He's under pressure, and he's trying to get something going, but he's finally sacked by the Auburn defenders. Turnover on downs. Phillip Brooks loses his second start of his career as the Florida Gators continue to struggle in the 2011 season. But the Gators had another tough battle with their SEC rivals, the Georgia Bulldogs, 7-7 midway through the second quarter. Brooks hits his tight end. He's taken down after a short gain. Bulldogs defense playing really good against Florida. Brooks had trouble early in the game. There his receiver drops a ball after getting smacked as he was catching it. So we go to the third quarter. Georgia up by seven. Brooks finds his man for a first down, just trying to get a rhythm going here and try to get some more points on the board. Brooks rolls out to his right. He's got a man open, but he's going to go long. And the risk does not pay off. It's picked off by a Georgia defender. And they're now up 17-7. to Fourth quarter now. Brooks play action. Rolls out to his right. He's going to think about taking himself. And then he's actually going to do it. He's going to take out the right sideline. Pick up a big gain there. But they need the points now. First down for the Gators. Brooks play action. Looking long. But he's sacked on the play by a Georgia defensive lineman. Third and 15 now for Brooks. He's hit as he throws. It's narrowly intercepted. Lucky it wasn't. They will get the ball back later in the quarter. Brooks on first down. Looking long for his running back. Running the wheel route. It goes right through his hands. It would have been a big play for the Gators. But second down. He's going to go back to the same side. Those guys are getting burned last play. And he's going to do it again. Except for this time the wide receiver is going to catch it. Touchdown Gators. But Georgia's offense would keep Florida from seeing the ball anymore. So the Gators lose another game. And Phillip Brooks' third start in a row, he hasn't got a win yet. He's showing improvement, but the team can just not pull together as one cohesive unit to pull off a victory. But now they got the Vanderbilt Commodores. Sounds like an easy match on paper, but they're down 7 nothing early. He hits his wide receiver coming over the middle. It's going to be a touchdown, locking this game up at 7 apiece. Vanderbilt would answer back with a touchdown of their own, making it 14-7. Brooks on third and nine is just going to take it himself. Easy conversion there for the fast quarterback. Trying to tie this game up once again. First down. Ignoring the screen pass play call. Looking long. It's picked off by a Commodore defender. Questionable decision there by Phillip Brooks, but he knew the screen pass wasn't going to work, and he took a chance. First down. Looking long for his receiver on the right side. He catches it, and he's tackled into Commodore territory. But the kicker would miss a field goal, so third and four, trying to get something going again. Brooks hits his receiver on the curl route once again in the Commodore's territory, but they need to capitalize this time. A minute left in the second quarter. Brooks rolling to his right a little bit, hits his wide receiver behind the defender. Nice pass there, good catch. First down into field goal range. They would kick a field goal. And then Brooks third and four, trying to get anything going, hits his receiver there. Nice catch. He's going to go over the middle just past midfield. So they're trying to capitalize here. First down, play action for Brooks. Doing what he does best. Takes off. Nice juke there into the block. He's going to pick up a bunch of extra yards because of that. And the Gators would add a field goal. So second and four, fourth quarter now. Brooks trying to get something going. He's sacked on the play, rolling out to his right, underestimating the defensive end. So third and long. Brooks needing a first down. They left his man wide open. He's going to take that all day. Nice pass, nice catch. See you later, Commodores. You can chase them all you want. Touchdown, Florida. The two-point conversion attempt would fail, so they would need to do it once again and at least get a field goal first down. That's a nice catch there for a conversion 
Brooks to his receiver, but fourth down and ten, trying to extend this drive. They need this victory. Brooks takes off, trying to muscle a first down. He fumbles the ball. Vanderbilt recovers. They add a field goal. That means one play left for Florida if they're going to come back in this game. And the coach calls corner strikes. Brooks knows this is not a touchdown-making play. So he's just going to try to make a play himself. He rolls out to his right, gets past the end. Nice block by the receiver. He gets past him to midfield. He's going up to the 30. No one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Phillip Brooks, for the Florida Gators. That's how you win your first game. Teammates congratulating him. He's the only reason you guys won. You better be patting him on the back. And although it was ugly, a win is a win, especially for a team like the Gators losing as much as they have. So everybody for the Gators can breathe a sigh of relief as they say, We didn't lose to Vanderbilt! Not something you usually cheer for, but in this season there wasn't too much to cheer for. So we got more coming up here with Phillip Brooks. Uh, tune in for the next episode when he continues his road to being a campus legend for the Florida Gators and trying to revive this team as they continue to struggle in 2011. But the season is not over. And he's still got three years left, so you definitely want to catch the rest of this series.